Hey guys, what's good? Making a video for the first time in a while, actually. Kind of miss making video go videos for you guys, but you know, I'm still I'm still in the combat sports. Uh, still love boxing. Watch the occasional good UFC MMA fight if it's uh, a fighter that I like, like a style that I like. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, today in, in this video I want to talk about uh, Oscar De La Hoya versus Vitor Belfort. So not many, I don't think not many YouTubers are really talking about this fight coming up. I could be wrong. I, I know they, they've talked about it, but not, it's not getting as much spotlight really I feel like. Maybe because the Pacquiao Spence fight is kind of taking over the boxing world right now. Uh, and then you got, uh, yeah, I would say that would be maybe it, but, uh, yeah, so, uh, I love this fight, to be honest. I think it's an exciting fight because the styles and the, where they are in their careers and the history they have in both of their, in both sports, right? You got Oscar De La Hoya. He's a legend, like one of the best fighters of all time, one of the best Mexican fighters of all time, Mexican uh, heritage anyway, fighters of all time. Uh, and he never backed down from anybody, you know, like uh, he always took on the best fighters that he could at the time. He fought everybody from Shane Mosley uh, Mayorga, uh, Vargas, uh, Julio Cesar Chavez, Bernard Hopkins, Manny Pacquiao, Floyd Mayweather, uh, just pretty much, pretty much everybody he could fight, he fought. List of others I could go on, you know. Uh, so, and then you got another guy. He's a legend as well in his sport, MMA. He's been in many organizations. He's been in the UFC. Uh, I didn't know this, but he has the most knockouts in history in the in the in in, in the UFC. I think not. Maybe not in the MMA. I could be. I know. I forget if it was UFC or MMA. I, I'm. It's probably in the UFC. Because. MMA is such a broad, you know, it's so big. But I didn't know that he had the most knockouts uh, in the UFC. And uh, obviously we know Vitor Belfort is a good striker. Uh, he's a vicious knockout puncher, obviously. we've like, And he's exciting to watch. I've always liked watching Vitor Belfort. TRT or no TRT, he's a good... He's a good fighter. Uh, it's not like he cheated, right? They allowed him to use TRT, testosterone replacement pet therapy, if those of you who don't know it. But uh, then they banned it. So I kind of agree with them banning it in a sense because, like, if you if you can't get your if your testosterone's not getting back up to what it was, maybe you shouldn't be competing, right? But either way, he was a beast before. He was a beast during TRT. And I don't know if he's still on it now, but anyway, he's he's a legend. Oscar's a legend. This fight is exciting because, like, you got uh, so many different, like, outcomes could happen in this fight. It's a real fight. Oscar made that clear. Vitor made it clear. They both want this not to be an exhibition. They're not for exhi exhibitions. Uh, they want this to go on their professional record. This is a real fight. So they are going to fight to knock, try to knock each other out. They both made it clear. They're going for the knockout. Uh, so Vitor Belfort, I know like looking up his record right now in the UFC. I know he probably he has a bunch of other fights in other organizations. But he lost his last fight to Leota Machida, but Leota Machida is a very good fighter, and that was in 2018. That was his last outing, and he lost by KO by a kick, and then he won against Nate 
Marquat Marquat. I don't really know that guy. I, I, I've probably seen the fight, but I don't remember. I don't recall that guy, to be honest. Then he had a no contest against Calvin Gastelum, and then he lost his. He lost a couple other fights. So his last win was Dan Henderson by a KO. And he said he has many good wins though. Like he had the. He had the Nako win over Luke Rockhold. The Nako win over Michael Bisbing. Nako win obviously over Dan Henderson. He had a very good fight with Chris Wyman, but then he lost that fight. I remember that was, uh, they were trading bombs, and then uh, Chris Wyman ended up winning that fight. So, usually when he wins, it's by knockout. So he's obviously, like, and I know striking is different in... MMA, but I've seen him train boxing on the mitts, and I know it's just the mitts. It doesn't mean like it doesn't mean everything. Obviously, training you could look in you could look incredible, you could look invincible. But actually, fighting, even sparring is different than real fight. But sparring is different than training, and then the real fight is the ultimate test. So he looks very good on the pads, like. He has basic, good, basic, solid, fundamental boxing skills. You can see when, the way he throws shots. You can tell when someone knows how to throw a punch. And he throws shots. Like if you showed him hitting the mitts and you said this guy's just a boxer, not an MMA guy. He's a, he's a boxer. You would think he's just a boxer because he, he looks, he throws punches very sharp. Uh, he looks like a boxer to me. He's very, very sharp, powerful punches he, when I've seen him hit the mitts. Uh, I haven't seen that many recent videos of him uh, train, like some, but there's not many of him out there training for some reason, like recently. But I, I know I've seen videos a couple weeks, couple months old, year old. He looks, his training, he takes it very seriously. His physical conditioning is tremendous. Like, the guy trains how you should train. Like, he, he pulls out all the stops like he's he's got the weighted vest he's punching with uh dumbbells he's he's doing it all so this guy's training like a like a dragon ball like a z fighter like a z warrior in dragon ball z you know what i'm saying he's training like goku he's training like vegeta like you know what i mean if you if he could he would go in a gravity chamber you know what i mean so recently recent footage not not as much but I've seen him train very good. Oscar De La Hoya, on the other hand, more coverage on him. I've seen more training on him. And each passing day and each more recent video, he's looking sharper and faster. He's still got the speed. He's still got it, like in my opinion. Uh, I don't know how much he trained over the last couple of years. He probably let himself go for a little bit, I'm guessing. Uh, since he was... I didn't, I didn't think he was in the gym uh but maybe he was i don't think he was that much though uh but i think he obviously kept in shape enough that he didn't blow up in weight right like he still looks like he's not he didn't get fat or anything right but then again i don't know how much he was like training like he like a like a manny pacquiao or uh you know other guys who are gym rats, but each passing day he's looking better. He's looking sharper, and uh, I'm I'm really excited and looking forward to this fight. Uh, <clears throat> so you got Oscar De La Hoya. He's been retired for a while now. Uh, sorry, I'm just looking behind me. My dog, she's itching. I don't want her to itch. I don't know. She's got like allergies and stuff. It's kind of it's kind of annoying, but sorry if I'm looking back, seeing what she's doing. But uh it's just distracting. But uh anyway, like yeah, so Oscar De La Hoya uh his last fight Manny Pacquiao 2008 uh obviously he retired in the ring. What was it? Round nine or round eight i think at the end of the round 
he came out for the next round. I think it was round nine. And he just hugged Manny Pacquiao. That was it. And then he's never fought since. But if you know Oscar, he's fought everyone. He never backed down from a challenge. And that's why he's taking this fight. This isn't no Floyd Mayweather, Jake, or Floyd Mayweather, Logan Paul fight. This is a serious fight, not an exhibition. This is a real fight, guys. They're both coming to knock each other out. Oscar De La Hoya has a very good chin. And this is why I like the aspects of this fight, like the different scenarios and the, what do you call it, the X factors and all that. Like, just, I like this matchup because you got a guy in Oscar who's smaller, who's never fought more than 160 before. Never fought above 160. And I think 160 is even too much for him, to be honest. When he fought uh, Hopkins, he got stopped with a body shot. He's never been stopped by, uh, like, knocked out. He's never been knocked out. So his chin is very good. One of the best chins in boxing of all time, you could say. A lot of Mexican fighters have very good chins. Uh, so, and I think that's important because you got Vitor Belfort, who fights at 185. That's middleweight for UFC, but for boxing... That is a cruiserweight. So, Oscar, you could say, like, he fought at, I think, I'm going to say he fought at 130 when he started his career. So, you got a guy who came up from 130 to 160 fighting a natural 185-pound guy. Like, an actual 185-pound guy. I don't know what Vitor started at when he first started start fighting maybe it was a bit less than that but he's a big guy i think he's what is he six foot i'll go over his stats right now he is what is it uh six foot one no he's six foot 185 pounds 74 inch reach southpaw Born in 90, 1977. So that would make him 44. So he's 44 years old. Oscar is 48 right now. So he's got a bit of an age advantage. He's got a four years age advantage on Oscar. But I, I don't know if that would be that big of a deal. Vitor has been more active though. So that might be, you know... That could be uh that could be an issue. Then again, it's hard to say because some fighters like Oscar, he got a lot of rest and maybe he's got that that fire back. He's got that motivation back. So maybe the ring rust won't really matter since he's not even fighting like it's not like he's coming back and fighting like a Canelo or a Triple G, right? Or even like a like a I don't know like a a lesser B level middleweight or something like that. He's fighting an MMA guy that's doesn't that only has one professional fight. So Vitor does have one professional fight in Brazil. He won by knockout against a guy that the guy he uh, had that one fight against that was his first fight as well. It, it, so it's like he really his professional boxing career is he doesn't really have any experience. So, ring rust for Oscar, maybe it won't matter as much since he's not really fighting a boxing guy. But this, but Vitor obviously is a very good striker in MMA. Um, does he have an amateur boxing record? I'm not, I, I don't really know. I, I'm going to look that up right now. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so... <clears throat> Let me just look this up, guys. Vitor Belfort, amateur boxing. Uh... Sorry, guys. I'm just looking up this. All right. Let's see here. Yeah, so I don't know if he has a, if he has a amateur boxing record. He could. I can't find it right now, though. Either way, though, if you see him in training, you can see he does have good basic boxing skills. 
obviously the distance in striking, striking in boxing and striking in uh, MMA is totally different. Not the way you're throwing the punches is maybe different, but the distance that you engage in is different. So muscle memory, Oscar has dealt with just boxing. So obviously he has the advantage, even if you know how to throw a crisp, good one, two, like Vitor can. It might not really, it's different because the distance is different. Oscar knows what defensive tactics will work at the distance because he's been there. He's done that many times. Vitor, on the other hand, it's in his muscle memory to do certain things that you wouldn't do in boxing, right? Uh, when you strike, so. So, Oscar's going to need a good chin. Like, he has he has the good chin. He's going to need it because he's fighting a guy that's at 185. Who walks around over 200 pounds clearly. This guy's a beast, Vitor. He's jacked. Uh, and he's powerful. And uh, Oscar never fought more than 160. And that's pushing it. Like that would be, that. that's absolute for Oscar to walk around at probably. would Or to fight at would be 160. Uh, and he fought at the lowest, when he first started his career was 130. So... Uh, this is a big test for Oscar, and this is a big test for Vitor. Uh, a lot of people are saying, yeah, Vitor's going to like knock him out. I hear people are, are saying, oh, this is not good for Oscar. But like they're just looking at the size, I feel like, of Vitor and basing their opinion on the size and obviously like... You've seen Vitor tra training. He looks like a monster, right? So I feel like a lot of the the people saying that Oscar's going to get destroyed is just they're looking at the size. And you can't do that. You can't just look at the size. Because if you just look at the size in boxing, then like, like uh, what do you call it? You, it would be easy to pick a winner each time, right? Tons of fighters uh, look... Like, they look huge. Like, look at Anthony Joshua versus Andy Ruiz. You should pick Anthony Joshua every time. He looks like a monster, right? Has the complete size advantage over Andy Ruiz. I know weight-wise Andy was heavy, but still, like, the length and the height and the just, like, the guy looks like Superman, right? So, and then you look at, like, John Pascal look like a beast. Um, there's many fighters. Like, those are just two examples. They look, just because they look very big and strong doesn't mean it translates but obviously uh like vitor knows how to box too and it, it, it's yeah like you just can't just base it on size that's all i'm saying uh oscar obviously he looks more he's more thin like more slim smaller guy uh, has that more guy, he doesn't look like he's hitting the weights as much, right? But he's got that boxing strength. He's got that boxing power. You know what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> like, he, you don't have to look like a bodybuilder. That's all I'm saying. So you can't base off, oh, Oscar's going to get destroyed. Because, no, that's not the case. Oscar is a legend. He... He's proven it in the last couple training videos I've seen of him. He's proven it that he's still got speed and pop in his shots. And we all know the muscle memory. He's got the technique. And he is a boxer. He's been boxing professionally way more experienced than Vitor has. So that kind of cancels out, I feel like, the size advantage. And he's never been stopped, Oscar. So you got to look at that. And, and and he's always had the heart. He's always had the heart. When he's in that ring, he never gives up. So that's the one thing you can't count Oscar out. If he does lose the fight, he'll probably lose by knockout. Vitor will have to hit him with a really good shot to knock him out. Because I just don't see him losing a decision to Vitor. But it's hard to see. It's hard to know where Oscar's stamina is at. Because he hasn't fought in so long. That's the one thing I'd be concerned about. But knowing him, he's training hard. I've seen him uh, doing strength and conditioning in the gym recently. So he's taking it seriously. I assume he's doing road work. 
I haven't seen him do the road work, but I assume he is doing it. He's an old school boxer, so I'm assuming he's doing it. I, I assume he'll be fully prepared. And he's doing, like he even said in interviews that he's, he's doing this because he has to do it for himself. Like he has to prove something to himself that he can do this at this age. So he doesn't need the money. And uh, you got Vitor. He just wants to. He wants to fight a legend and see where he's where he stacks up against a legend who's similar in age. Obviously smaller, but I feel like if Vitor can get a victory over Oscar, even though that Oscar is smaller, it will prove that Vitor is a good boxer. Because I don't care what you say. I know he's too. Literally three weight classes above Oscar, let's be honest here. Th three weight classes at least above Oscar. He's a cruiserweight. But uh, if he's that good of a fighter, uh, then he'll beat Oscar, right? But if he's just a good boxer, maybe... Like and he's and he's not as he, and he say he's not as good as a striker as he was in MMA. He's gonna have problems with Oscar, obviously. So, uh, yeah, man, I'm excited about this fight though. Uh, September 11th, uh, so it's coming up. Um, like I said, uh, Oscar hasn't fought in 13 years. Vitor has fought. Um, recently, I think, I know in UFC, his last fight was, uh, 2018, so three years ago, almost, I would say, but, um, mm. Vitor recently fought a, oh, wait a minute, oh, never mind, okay, so, that one boxing fight that Vitor had, was actually in 2006. I did not know that. I thought that was recent to get him ready to... I thought he was recently stepping his foot in boxing. Okay, so he did debut professionally in 2006, but then that was his only fight. So, yeah, he hasn't been that active either. Okay, so I actually thought Vitor Belfort was more uh, active, to be honest. Unless he was fighting in another MMA uh, organization, I don't think he was though, I don't think he was in Bellator recently, so, his last fight was three years ago, okay, so, I feel like it's a more even playing field in that sense then, so, I feel like, what it's going to come down to is, who has the better conditioning and stamina, but I feel like that is more determined. That's more important to Oscar. Because I feel like if Oscar does not have the stamina, he could get knocked out by getting lazy, tired, and get caught with a shot. But I feel like if Oscar's stamina is on point, he should win this fight. But I feel like Obviously, stamina will be important for Vitor because Vitor could get stopped as well on his feet. I don't know if he could get put away by Oscar with one shot, but I feel like he could. He could stop Vitor with a with a accumulation of shots if Vitor's stamina is not there. Let's say both of their staminas are tip top shape. They come both ready. I think it's an eight round fight, two minute rounds. It's two minute round, guys, not three minutes. But it's still going on their professional record. So I guess they still sanctioned it. I didn't know that you could do that. You could make two minute rounds for a real fight, but I guess they did. But I heard Oscar saying it's better for both of them. It'll make more action in the ring for two minute rounds. Uh, eight, eight round, or yeah, two minute, eight rounds. So. It's probably better since they're both very inactive, so it'll, it'll be better for them for their, their uh, current stamina level, I guess. Uh, but, so, so both of their staminas, I feel like, are 
at their peak, they're good. They're both tip-top shape. It will come down to the technicals, right? Who's the better boxer? Who has the better game plan? And obviously Oscar would have those both. He would have the better game plan since he's been boxing all his life. Obviously his game plans are going to be better for boxing than Vitor's. And obviously technically Oscar is the better boxer. So as long as Oscar's stamina is good, I feel like he'll win this fight. And if Vitor's stamina is good, he won't get stopped. But if so, I feel like if one of their stamina is no good, that person will be stopped. Um, unless Oscar wants to fight a slugfest, that could be dangerous, obviously for him too. But I feel like he'll do what he always does. He mixes. He's a boxer puncher, and he does that very well. And uh, yeah, he's got that Mexican, like that classic Mexican style that you like to see. Come forward. Uh, volume punching, high guard, uh, pressure you, relentless pressure, high volume shots, speed, power, good chin. And then Vitor, we all seen him, he just bull rushes you, aggressive, powerful combination shots. Uh, I'm excited for this fight, guys. Uh, I don't know why people aren't talking about it as much. Like I said, it's probably because the Pacquiao Spence. But, man, it's going to be a good fight. And uh, too bad it's not three-minute, like, 10-round fight or 12-round fight. But it is what it is. Like, it's like a... Like I said, since they've been so inactive for so long, both these guys, Vitor, three years out, Oscar, 12 years, 13 years out of the ring, uh, it probably suits them better for a better fight for two-minute rounds, eight, eight, eight rounds, uh... They'll just produce better action. Like I said, if they had more time and they had a couple fights recently, I would feel like they would do three minutes. But two minutes is still good. Uh, and like I said, the bottom line is it's not an exhibition. And that's why this is in a good fight. Because if this was an exhibition, I'd be concerned. I'd be like, okay, it's an exhibition. You don't get two guys trying to really hurt each other in an exhibition unless it's like Ivan Drago versus Apollo Creed. You know what I mean? Uh, like the Jones versus Tyson was all right in the Mayweather versus Logan Paul. That that, that was kind of kind of shitty in my opinion. Like props to Logan Paul though. You can't you can't blame him, right? He uh, he got to step in the ring of Floyd Mayweather and. Whether they uh, really try to hurt each other, I don't know, to be honest. Um, I don't think they tried to. And that's what I think an exhibition is about. It's just, it's just about a show. I really feel like exhibitions should not be pay-per-views. They should not be... You should not have to pay money for an exhibition. I feel like that should be a rule. Like, But then again, it's the people's problem. They want to pay the money. And if the demand's there, then I guess. But... An exhibition should not be a paid-for event. It should be free. Then I'm fine with it. So I'm really glad this is not an exhibition. This is a real fight that goes on the professional record. The win and loss, or whatever it is, will show up on their record. So you know they're going to fight hard. And they're going to try to win the fight. So the two-minute two rounds doesn't really bug me since it is a real fight. Uh, yeah. Eight rounds is enough, I feel like. It's just enough. Uh, anything less, I'd be a little bit... I feel like it'd be too short. But, yeah. Let me know what you guys think about this fight. Who do you think will win? How do you think they look like in training? I think Oscar's looking sharp, looking fast. He's still got it. Vitor. Haven't seen as much recent footage. I've seen some. He's looking good. I've seen a lot of his older, like one year ago, kind of a couple months ago, and he looks very sharp. Uh, I like his strength and conditioning te techniques. He takes it, like I said, he trains like how you would want to train, right? Weighted vest, punching with dumbbells, like the kind of training I would do anyway. But uh, Oscar, I've seen him training with medicine balls in the gym, uh, 
plyometric kind of things, hitting the mitts, hitting the heavy bag, uh, speed bag, old school training. So I'm really pulling for Oscar in this fight just because like uh, he he's just like I, I watched him years ago. Like I watched him. He's just like one of the old school fighters and it's good to see him come back for a fight, you know? It, like like right when I when I heard he was fighting again in a real fight against Vitor Belfort, it kind of it it it, it uh, like uh, it it really got me excited. Like uh, it really made me feel good. Like just really because like Oscar was a legend, and now you get to see him again. And we know this guy's a true warrior. He's a he's got the heart of a champion, and uh, he fought everyone. So it's it's just. I'm pulling for him because he's, it's just, you know, like, you know what kind of guy he is, you know, he's a, he's a warrior, and, uh, obviously I go more for the boxing guy, but in even, in even more sense, it's, it's Oscar, and, like, I always, I liked Oscar, I always liked his style and the way he conducted himself in the ring, Outside the ring, he he seems like a decent guy. He seems down to earth. I know he's had some issues and like problems, but everyone does, right? But once he steps in that steps in the ring, he's got he's got more heart than he's got as much heart as any fighter can have. So it's good to see him back. That's what I like, and I'm really pulling for him to win. But I like Vitor as well. He was always one of my favorite MMA fighters, just because like I like stand up, striking, punches and kicks. Th those are the fights I like in MMA, and he brings that, so. I'm excited, guys, and let me know what you think, and, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.